Have you heard of the Alliance for American Quilts? Neither had I until recently. It's such a treasure for quilt lovers and shouldn't be such a secret. I'm Jody Davis, president of QNNTV.com. Let me share with you three of the projects of the Alliance. They're all for free, they're all online, they're just a click away. The first one is the Quilt Index. Now I've gone to the AllianceForAmericanQuilt.org's website and now I'll click down here on the Quilt Index. And when I do, it just brings us to a random quilt. And as you can see, this is documentation. Here's a quilt from the Kentucky Quilt Project. It names the, the maker, Nancy Francis Clements Adams, and the time period. Now there's lots of ways that you can find quilts here. For instance, here's Browse. You can go to a collection. There are all sorts of state document collections. Um, there are collections by the maker, if it's a major collection. Um, and here I've gone to Rhode Island because that's where I was born, so I was fascinated that the collection was in here from the State Documentation Project. And here are all sorts of quilts. Now the other way that you can search is by pattern name. And actually I did this recently because I wanted to make a Rose of Sharon quilt. See, you can see it filling it in because I've already done this. And all I do is search for that. I wanted to make one for the television show Quilt Out Loud. I was making a project. And um, so I went in here to look at examples, and it's fascinating to see how many different examples they are. This one is beautiful, and um, you can get all the information about that. And I'm going to go back and click on one of the other ones, and you can see that they're all so different. Look at that. I mean, that's so much different than the one that I showed you. Now, the next project of the Alliance for American Quilts that I want to tell you about is Quilters Save Our Stories. We fondly call it Quilters SOS. In this database of oral histories, we have over 1,000 interviews posted. They're archived by the American Folklife Center at the Library of Congress. These oral histories document today's quilt makers, but range from professional to novice. You don't have to be a big name. I haven't heard of Charlene Hughes, but look at her quilts. Wow! The third project of the Alliance for American Quilts that I want to show you is Quilt Treasures. Quilt Treasures includes 13 web portraits to date, there are more coming, which include video interviews, photo galleries, timelines, mini documentaries, biographies, and bibliographies on groundbreaking figures in the quilt revival movement, which is dating 1976 to 2000. Now to see another Quilting Treasures portrait, I just go here, you may have heard of Virginia Avery, Cuesta Benbury, everyone's heard of Jenny Byer. There she is. So this talks about her quilt, Ray of Light. And then, of course, we want to go to um, Ginny's <laughs> gallery of her quilts because uh, we want to see all of them, of course. Wow. Beautiful. So there are 13 of these to date in the quilt index. See why I called the Alliance for American Quilts a treasure? All of that for free, just a click away. Wow. Please do use it and also tell your friends about it. And do consider becoming a member so that you can help us to preserve our history. That's yesterday's and today's.